something you'll act like it's too complicated and then just leave, leave. I don't wanna cry in front of you. Cause I know you won't do the same. I'm so to Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Lois. If you're new here, starting the vlog very, very late. I had to check out of my, I had to check out of my hostel and move out into a hotel because I remember last night I said that I was gonna stay in the hostel because it's just affordable and it was nice. Had a shower, a bed, everything I needed. And I'm honestly not spending most of my time in the hotel, in the hostel anyway, so that I don't want to spend money on a hotel, a proper nice hotel, because I'm constantly outside exploring. But then, turns out they don't have any accommodation for the, for the next two days, so I had to move out into a hotel. And I couldn't find any other hostel around the area that was decent, that had like a private room. So ultimately, I had to check into a hotel. It's 1.21 now, and I haven't started my day yet. Anyways, I'm staying at a hotel called La Villa something. I thought it was going to be like those love hotels. If you don't know what that means, like these are very popular in South Korea because most Korean Koreans actually stay with their parents up until they're like 30s. And so for them to be able, when, they, when they're dating in relationships, when they want to be able to have, like spend quality time together and have sex and everything, they usually go to these love hotels, love hotels, so they can be able to spend time there. Anyways, I thought I was checking into a love hotel. I'm not sure. It's very basic, but I don't know. I'll see. I've been checking everything just to see whether it's a love hotel or not. Like, is it dirty? Like, is there condoms everywhere? But it's not. It's not. It's just a budget hotel. Yeah, and it's clean. So let's just do a quick hotel tour. There's nothing much. It's basic, but it's got. It's clean, and it's got a bed and a shower. That's all I need. So there's a mirror here. Sick check. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to go out tonight and explore. Today, I, was going to, I don't think I was going to explore much because baby boy is exhausted. I did a lot yesterday. Anyways, I've got like a humongous TV over here, a bar fridge, a tea station, and then this is a closet. I've got my stuff here. Fascinating thing is the basin and the sink is outside. And then here, we've got like the bathtub. Obviously the shower here, and then another mirror over here, and then you've got the toilet seat. The toilet is over here, the toilet is over here, and then you've got like a couch, and then good old bed. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and then I've got a really, really amazing view here of just like apartments. There we go. I've got like a nice view of like floor to ceiling windows. Actually, these are floor to ceiling windows. The reason why I didn't, want to, I didn't want to move there was also because I liked the area. Hongdae was a really nice area. And I actually didn't want to stay there in the beginning. I wanted to stay in Myeongdong, which is like the central central part of Seoul. But then I ended up liking Hongdae and it got like a really nice vibe to it. There's lots of restaurants. It's just a nice area. I liked living there. I think here there is stuff happening, but it's not as busy as Hongdae. Yeah. But anyways, I had no option, so I'm gonna stay here for the two nights. So I'm staying here from today, which is Friday? What? No, today is Thursday. Thursday up until Saturday. I think I wanna leave Seoul on Sunday, but I'm not sure. I'll figure out, I'll decide when I, I'll decide on Saturday, because tomorrow, Friday, I'm going out to Itaewon. I'm going out for festivities, night festivities. I'm going to this uh, whole clubbing scene area in Seoul so I'm very excited about that I'm doing last bit of sightseeing I guess today and and then Saturday if I'm not hungover and then Sunday I think I might leave I'm not sure I haven't decided I had I'm just going through vibes I'm going I'm traveling South Korea through vibes only I just whatever happens happens uh, anyways I am going to unpack my things and then we're going to see where we're going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do today, but I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. I just had coffee. Uh, that's about it. So I need to eat. It's past 12 now, so breaking my fast. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. I 
at the Guangchang market and I'm so overwhelmed. There's so many things here. I don't even know what to start eating. Uh, but I think I saw like those pancakes. So I want to try the pancakes. Oh, there they are. But I don't think I want to eat all of them. Someone told me this ain't love. There's no way you get into my heart. Someone told me gotta move on. Keep it together for you fall apart. There's no reason to be loved. There's actually a line here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. I just started vlogging and then I realized that like, there's actually a long line. We're standing in the wrong area. The line starts from right over here, but there's a gap in between here, so now people to pass through. Battery is going to die because I didn't realize that I had it on the whole time. So I'm probably gonna vlog over my phone, and sound quality is not gonna be the best, but yeah. Waiting in line to try those fried, twisted dough, fried. I don't know what you call them. Donuts? <laughs> so I actually got two of these. I thought one would be enough. It's your taste. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Wow. Good morning. Uh, my battery died last night, so after I came back from Guangzhou Market, came back to the hotel, I passed out, I woke up at night, and then I went for a stroll around the neighborhood, got some Korean snacks, and then basically just watched uh, Grey's Anatomy. I'm currently watching season 19 of Grey's Anatomy on Netflix now that it's finished. I don't know, I kind of got over it after a while because like so many cast have moved on. It's, it's just different. It's a different show. I'm just watching it because of nostalgia. I guess I'm a loyal Die Hard fan. Anyways, today I am, the itinerary is that I want to go to this place. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> yes, it's a village with like traditional Korean homes. And then people get to wear like uh, the traditional clothes and take photos around the area. So I'm going there. It's a touristy place, touristy trap, I guess, but I want to go and see it. And then afterwards, I... Oh yeah, first things first is I am going to get myself a new charger. Charger for my battery, for camera battery, because the one that I have doesn't doesn't work with the sockets here in South Korea. I don't think it doesn't work, but it's just this this hotel because the hostel I lived in, I could be able I could charge my my camera, but somehow for this hotel I can't charge it. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm gonna get that, and afterwards I'm gonna go to this village. Yeah.
cafe called Maggio. Just ordered some lemon iced tea. Seoul is extremely hot. The village is really nice and cute and quaint. I loved it. It's a lot of walking, there's steep hills and stuff, but it's nice. Oh, I also got like a nice, I saw this nice elderly woman that offered to take photos of me. She was really kind and sweet and so happy. Like I've met some really like nice people along the way. They've just like been so sweet and kind to me. It's really nice. Mm, this is sweet. I just actually asked for more water because it was just too sweet. Let me taste the... Yeah, now it's better. It tastes like iced tea. And then I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Relax a little. Almost three, so I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel and relax a little bit and charge my lap and charge my battery. Because in the evening I'm going to eat Taiwan for some nighttime festivities and I'm really excited about that. I actually also wanted to go to the like a Korean barbecue, but apparently most of them you have to go like there needs to be like at least two or more people in order for you to be able to eat there. I saw it on TikTok, but I don't know if it's true, so I'm gonna try. I really do wanna go and eat out tonight Korean barbecue. And I'm traveling solo, so how can I, how am I supposed to get someone else? Oh, what a day, what a day. I'm back, I'm so exhausted. I actually bought a lot of Korean snacks. Let me show you. Well, <laughs> it's not... Oh my God, let me put up my camera here with something. I got like a bunch of... Uh, Snacks. Well, it's not really Korean. I got like Hershey's dark and white chocolate cookie. I'm gonna have that just now. And someone told me about this. I saw it on TikTok. Actually, banana milk is actually really popular and really good. I had a different brand last night when I went for a straw. It was really good. But then afterwards, I was so bloated. Lactose intolerant. And then I also got this. I had no idea they made non-alcoholic Ting Sao beer. So this is non uh, um, this is non-alcoholic lemon flavored Ting Sao beer. I did not know they made yeah. Yeah, that's everything I got. I'm gonna change, take a shower, and then have my snacks and then take a nap. It's it's currently 16 minutes past five now. So I probably can take like an hour's nap and then afterwards I'm thinking of having Korean barbecue today. But someone told me that you actually can't have it by yourself. There needs to be at least two people in order for you to be able to have Korean barbecue. And I'm traveling solo. How am I going to get someone else to have uh, Korean barbecue with me? Anyways, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> 